I'm not changing it. Change it. <laughs> Hi, welcome to episode 245 for my oh. video, not Leon's one. I don't have episodes. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, Another yeah. day on the lake then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, anyway, can we crack on with this? Yeah, come on. I've only got a three hour battery. Yeah. Right. Anyway, guys. A lot of you will recognise Leon, South West Carpenter. Hi! As I've uh, been joined in my video. Mm -hmm. And then um, we also know these two are... Reprobates. Keith yeah. and Ginge. <laughs> but... At least you got them round the Royal Bay this time. <laughs> anyway guys, <laughs> right. We are fishing for 48 hours and we are back down... Oh, God. England! <laughs> You've done that on purpose, didn't you? No, I don't know what you're on about. Right. Anyway, guys, we're fishing for 48 hours. Oh, I'm going to have to do all that again, because I'm going to get... <laughs> I'm doing that again, because that was... <laughs> right, let's do that again. Right. Right, do you take two. Pause, pause yours, and then redo oh, yours. Oh, right. 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 right, let's start again. Right. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to change that? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Man of your age. Welcome to episode 245, guys. Right. We have got Leon. Hi! Southwest Carpenter. Correct. This is on my video, and Leon's one as well. Mm -hmm. We've got Ginge and Keith. Uh. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> this is a 48-hour video, guys. Or 48-hour oh. session, not a 48-hour <laughs> video. <laughs> 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 And we are back down near Patney Way on Woodside Lakes. Uh, between the four of us, we've paid to book out exclusively the Specimen Lake. No, you, I thought you treated us. Oh. No, I didn't, know. Yeah. You said you were paying. Yeah. No, we've sure already paid anyway. I haven't. But anyway, guys, right. Let's leave these bloody noddies to it. All right. Let's go fishing. Good <laughs> okay. Howdy ho YouTubers, welcome back. So finally, I have managed to drag myself away from my back garden for the first time this year and go fishing somewhere else. So for this blog, we're at a place called Woodside, which is, where is it, Chris? Uh, Patney, which is about halfway between Marlborough and Devizes. Between Marlborough and Devizes, somewhere like that. So I thought I'd take the time to come up here come fishing with this lunatic <laughs> and uh, yeah see what happens I suppose so we've got three rods out on the spot at the moment um, we've just kind of like got PVA bags out uh, just on singles for the night uh, just because we haven't seen a lot to go on and a lot of not a lot of fish have come out of here in the last sort of week so we're just gonna play it by ear really and see what happens uh, Keith and Ginger are on the other side me and Chris are in like a double swim um, so we're fairly spread out throughout the lake, so we'll see what happens. There's a lot of bird life around here. I've uh, got a swan right in the margin down there. And uh, we're hoping that we don't get picked up in the night, aren't we? But, well, I want to get picked up by fish. Oh yeah, that would be <laughs> Not nice. Not by bird life. Yeah, no bird life. So yeah, so there you go. Um, I'm going to put the camera away, have a beer, alcohol-free beer. Pointless, but I like the taste of it. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, and yeah, we'll see what happens uh, during the night. If not, then I'll see you in the morning with a sad face. Well, it's the morning and nothing has happened for us here anyway. Um, Keith had one this morning over in the corner, but other than that, for me and Mr. Fennel, it's been pretty quiet. Nothing's happened whatsoever. Has it not? No. Nope. <laughs> Nothing. No. So, just had a bit of a recast. Uh, just refreshed everything, put everything back out, and uh, put a bit of bait out now. Just put out some 15 mil boilies just to see if I can work the swim a little bit more. Um, but other than that, it's been pretty quiet, isn't it? Mm, yeah, I've just put a bit of bait in as well. I've started my session just on the PVA bags. But I've just had a walk around the far side, got absolutely soaking wet in the process because that far side grass and reeds and flora and fauna is like waist high, soaking wet and I've... He did come back wet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, but it, what it is allowed me to do is kind of put some bait in, you know, kind of discreetly rather than spawning it in or catapulting it in. 
I've just been able to under arm chuck it from the far margin and kind of, you know, concentrate bit, it. Yeah, and be a bit more kind of discreet and not kind of spook the water, so to speak. But saying that low, the form did come along and I find it straight away. So Yeah, he's still there now. Yeah, little rascal. <laughs> so, uh, I think uh, the rest of the day we're just going to sit on it for the rest of the day and we probably there's not a lot yeah, else well, we can do. I've still got to do my rods yet. I'm still mid-process. He's in the process of just putting new, new bags on and uh, yeah, just waiting to see. Like I say Keith had one this morning Which about... Which is a bit of a surprise because yeah, Keith, Keith never wins. Keith never wins but <laughs> Keith is winning so... Yeah and we can't have that at all. Nah, so we'll have to change that. Um, but uh, we'll see what happens anyway and go from there I suppose. All right, guys, just a quick view of the uh, spots that I'm fishing. So I've got one located now over in this corner over here. Um, there's a little bit of weed right close in, so I've just switched over to a pop-up. Um, just on the bags again. Uh, they're all on bags. And the, the other one is in the middle of this channel, just down here. And then I've got like this little margin area here. So in the night, I'm kind of like fishing just around this area here, but in the daytime, I'm just kind of like just off the point there. So, so that's the uh, that's the spot. But it's a really nice lake, really uh, really long, and long and narrowish, but it wides out in places. And yeah. Hi hey guys, is that fish that Ginge managed to? Uh born out yeah finally got him this has ended my 16 day uh, 16 session blank <laughs> oh nice one so tell us how you caught it mate uh up against the margins right all right um what kind of rig and bait were you using just a normal air rig ns1 um dumbbell boilies oh, oh, yellow right. not the coffee and you oh right pink. right yeah good tactics mate well done yeah. <laughs> the time is about five o'clock it's been a really quiet afternoon. I forgot to put the alarm on, <laughs> on my middle rod. And I was just sat here thinking about what I'm gonna have for tea. And uh, all of a sudden, the uh, bobbin came all the way up. Not the biggest fish in the world. Not the best well behaved either. Not going to bother weighing it. Yeah, it's about 10, 11 pound, you reckon? Yeah, well, I was going to say 12, 13. Yeah, 12, 13 pound, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say about 12 pound. Nice little common. Looks like it'll be a big fish one day. It's got a good set of yeah, shoulders on it. It's got a it. nice little size to it, isn't it? Yeah. It's got a good set on it. So, yeah kind of like the stamp that we've been catching at the moment well, yes yeah, it's, it's when you say we not not me yeah not 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 chris no <laughs> but yeah all right not bad we'll take that one it's a blank saver now all the carp king's got to do is catch <laughs> yeah. himself a fish oh no i can't believe it i'm the only one not catching yet <laughs> but i've got a duff swim <laughs> right this one back now No idea if I've got this in shot or not. <laughs> He's on. There he goes. Nice! <laughs> Just done a bit of extra bit of photography for you at the end there. Ta. I finally managed to land one of the bigger fish of the session, but unfortunately for me, where's your fish, mate? I didn't do the retainer up. 
<laughs> <laughs> so I put the fish in the retainer while we were getting the camera sorted, and by the time I come back, it was completely How empty. How big was it, by the way? What, what was it? 25? Luckily enough, we... we <laughs> about, 20, about 25, 25 pounds. Yeah, that was about 25 and a quarter, wasn't 25 it? 25 and a quarter. So my tip of the day is if you're going to use a retainer, do it up. Anything, with it, <laughs> anything you want retained, zip it up. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't even get any photos of yeah, it. Yeah, I, ret I retained the fish for about five seconds and then <laughs> let it swim out. <laughs> the fish is named Houdini. <laughs> oh well, what can you do? Do the next one. <laughs> Right, we've come to that time of the vlog where we do, of course, the weekend wife box. That's right, it's back. Haven't done one of these for quite a while now. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we've got inside this one. Okay. First on the list, Harry Bows Star Mix. Very nice. Poo drops. <laughs> Tasty gummy nuggets. Mmm, nuggets nice. of poo. We have lots of sweets. We have pencils and laces. Looks like this one's very sweet filled. Snop shoots. Snop shots. Yeah, never mm. heard of them. No. So Delicious bogeys. So we've got snot and poo. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we only need one more bodily orifice and then we've done the lot. <laughs> Millions, straws and chocolate, aero. What the fuck is that? I don't know, it looks like some sort of sausage thing, like a, like a pepper army kind of thing. It's not even in English. I don't know where she got that from. Aldi's or Lidl's. Probably Aldi's. <laughs> Grilled bacon. Mm. Now that will actually probably come in handy at some point. Bit of barbel fishing. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Rainbow powder. Cocaine. No, yeah. <laughs> I don't think it is. Uh, hand, cleans hand cleansing gel. Oh, right. but in a nice little girly pink Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Hang that up in the bivvy. <laughs> a can of moose juice, which is like an energy drink, from what I can see. Very nice. Never had that before, never heard of it before. Ooh, a two pound scratch card. Oh, I have to do that in a minute. We'll do that one in a minute, yeah. Might make my millions on the bank. Oh, can win up to 500,000 pounds. Oh, that would be nice. Oh, that would just pay for the amount of money I spent on my own lake. <laughs> and a mug off. Another mug. Subject to outbursts of embarrassing jokes. Cool. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's all that's in it. That was the Weekend Wife Box. Woo! <laughs> All right, well, good evening. Not my finest moment of the hour, I'm sure you'll appreciate. So, um, yeah, uh, for whatever reason, I decided to leave the retainer open and uh, the fish swam out just as we were getting the camera stuff ready. But we did weigh it before um, before it swam away and it was 20, what was it, 25? Well, your scale said 25.44, whatever that 20, 4 means on your scale. 25.4 ounce. Four, four, whatever, what, twenty-five pounds. So, um, yeah, didn't get a photo of it, but what can you do? That's how it is. So, uh, rods are back out on the spot. Um, I've picked up two fish now off of the middle rod, which is down the channel now, which is right down there, right in the middle of this channel. So that's where I've had the two, the two runs. And that's where I've put two of the rods, one on either side of the the, the bank in the island now, and I've put one out in the uh, in the bay in front of me as well. Uh, and that's just on a single white wafter. So we'll see what happens during the night, and um, hopefully catch a fish, and this time do the retainer up. You'd hope. <laughs> 
Well then guys, finally on the last morning, <laughs> and I'm not blanking. Took some time though, but what a cracking looking fish to do it with. I haven't weighed it because I don't think there's really need to. Main thing is I'm not blanking. But you know, it's almost like a little fully this one. And this was on that left damn rod that uh, yesterday I said I'd move to that the plateau, the new spot where I'd seen fish boshing, you know, rolling and fizzing. And yeah, that that move of spot paid off because this is the result. So yeah, happy on the last morning. I'm finally not blanking. We'll have a quick look at the other side because it's a uh, cracking looking sort of almost a fully so fully really. Good scrap as well, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Give me a good little run around. When Leon finally woke up that was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I haven't weighed this one guys. It's probably around about the ten pound mark, but weight is unimportant when the blank is out the way. Oh, but there we are guys, finally off the mark. I say it was probably because of that move of spot to be fair. So, you know, good angling on my part I should say. Very good, well done sir. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm just happy I'm finally not a blanker. <laughs> uh, and more importantly, I've caught up with Keith and Ginge. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, let's get her back. Good morning. So just the uh, one fish last night for Mr. Fennel. Um, I had a tench this morning, funnily enough. I haven't had one of those for years. So uh, it was about two pounds, something like that. But um, in my filming it, I just put it straight back, just unhooked it in the net and let it go. So uh, today is now the Sunday. Uh, we're booked on till seven o'clock tonight, um, but I don't know if we're going to be staying till 7 o'clock tonight because the weather is kind of like a little bit iffy later on in the day and uh, I've got to get home from here as well. It's a couple of hours for me from here. So uh, try and get back at a decent time. But um, for the rest of the day, we're just going to leave the rods out and just carry on with what we're doing uh, and just see where it really goes. Um, not going to change anything now i'm not adding any more bait i'm just fishing bags uh i'm just going to carry on with that approach until uh, it's time to go so we'll see what happens what are you doing i'm just watching the water mate testing the ground sheet yeah it's gonna rain soon i'm gonna hold it with them three fingers in the way are you yeah we well, managed <laughs> to hold a fish long there's keith's fish 16 pound. Looking at just not five ounces straight <laughs> off. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Right. I don't believe it. What yeah, was it? 16 pound? Really? Yeah. Sorry, 16 right. five. One. Two. He's going all carpy, he's not smiling. Three. Four. All right. All right. They were all the same. <laughs> Give us a wave, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Right guys, that is... <laughs> right guys! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> oh, we've only got three hour battery line. Oh, right. Right. Take two. It might be raining by then. Right guys, that is it. End of session, time to go home. Like I said, we are calling it a day a bit early to beat the weather that's coming in, but... Um, football. But, no, not football. No, not football. No, not football. <laughs> Anyway, right, we're off heading home. It's been a good session. We've all caught. Uh, we've all lost, well, no, you haven't, Keith, but um, yeah, we've all lost a few fish as well, unfortunately, apart from Keith. Including in the slings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if there's one lesson to be learnt from this session, do this up your retainer sling properly. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, I'm not sure where or where I'm going to be next. Um, if you don't already follow Leon's channel, guys, Southwest um, Carp Hunter. Yeah. Or Thatcher's Island Carp Fishery Syndicate. 
Yeah, I'll put a link to... Or him on the end. Or just yeah. me, yeah. I'll put a link to Leon's channel um, up here, guys, above Ginger's head. Yep, just up there. Thank you very much. Right, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Till next time, tight lines. Home time.